Welcome to State Television Company, Western Armenia, broadcast for today. The Treaty of Severus and the Harbour Mission, the testimony of the genocide against the Armenians. The head and hand of the famous bronze statue of Kadisa Nahid in an exhibition opened in the History Museum of Armenia. The events of Artsakh became the beginning of a new era of acceptable genocide, Lemkin Institute. Lord Byron and the Armenian people. Canada supports the negotiated political solution of the Artsakh problem for the Ministry of Canada. This year's excavations in Pierre and Shev site in Adiyaman city have been completed. 105 years ago, General James Harbord presented his historic report to the American delegation, which ratified the genocide against the Armenian people organized by the Ottoman Empire. This report, presented at the Paris Peace Conference on 16 October in 1999, and became an important document showing the international community the mass massacres of Armenians and their subsequent tragic fate. Harbert's report was based on first-hand accounts of the deportations, killings, and looting of Armenians by American military personnel. It represented the tragic plight of the Armenian people and Turkey's use of genocidal policies, which had a profound impact on the American position on regional peace and international law. Despite numerous attempts by Turkish authorities to deny and distort the Harbert's report, including by former Turkish defense minister, Lucy Akar, the report remains an unflattering testimony to the genocide against Armenians. Of particular note is the fact that the report not only documented the massacres of Armenians, but also emphasized that the Ottoman Empire organized these crimes in a systematic way. The Treaty of Severus signed in 1920 was an important political document that included the recognition of genocide and Turkish responsibility. Harbert's report reinforces the importance of the treaty, highlighting the abuses committed against Armenians and calling on the international community to take action. Today, the Harbert mission report remains a valuable document in the validation of the genocide against Armenians. It proves that the fact of the genocide against Armenians was recognized in international politics as early as the beginning of the 20th century, and it remains an unpleasant memory against denial and distortion of the history. On 21 September, the Museum of the History of Armenia opened Mother Goddess, the exhibition entitled Mayram from Anahit, in the framework of which are presented second one centuries, head and hand of a bronze statue of Anahit dating from the first and second centuries. The exhibition was organized as a result of the cooperation of the History Museum of Armenia and the British Museum. The director of the museum, David Bogosian, considered this exhibition unprecedented and emphasized that it is the first time such a valuable exhibit of the British Museum is presented in Armenia. More than 60 other valuable pieces from the museum's collection are also on display, spanning from the Neolithic period to the 20th century. Archaeologist Armine Zohrabian noted that the statue's head was discovered in Armenia in the 1817s and over the years appeared in the British Museum, being displaced in the Greco-Roman section. The exhibition will run until March 2025. Now, once again, I'd like to remind you that Lemkin Genocide Prevention Institute issued a statement on the occasion of the anniversary of the occupation and ethnic cleansing of Artsakh. On 19 September 2023, the genocide in Artsakh began when Azerbaijan invaded the 3,000-year-old Armenian territory Artsakh. Hundreds of Armenians were killed and others were forced to leave their homes. The Institute criticizes the inaction of the international community, stressing that this is the beginning of a new era of acceptable genocide. It calls for the protection of the rights of displaced persons, including the right to return to their homeland and self-determination, and demands punishment for the crimes committed by Azerbaijan. On 18 September, an exhibition of photos by Artsakh photographer David Kharamanya was opened in the RSL Senate office building Retunda Hall of the U.S. Congress, which tells about the 2020 war against Artsakh, the blockade and ethnic cleansing. At the exhibition, Hermine Avakian, the person in charge of the Artsakh office, stated that Azerbaijan committed genocide against the Armenians of Artsakh by using prohibited weapons and creating inhuman conditions. The photographers bear witness to these crimes, showing the targeting of the civilian population and the severe consequences caused by the blockade of Artsakh. 
I learned the language of the Armenians in order to understand what language God spoke, because the Armenian language is the language of gods, and Armenia is the homeland of gods. Lord Byron wrote this after visiting St. Lazarus Island in 1816. He accepted Armenian culture and language with great admiration and started learning Armenian with the help of Mahitarian congregations. Byron wrote about the Armenians that these people, despite their sufferings and persecutions, always preserved their honesty and virtue. He compared Armenians with Jews and Greeks, emphasizing that Armenians don't have the bitterness of the former and the servility of the latter. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Canada issued a statement on the occasion of the first anniversary of the depopulation of Artsakh, where the importance of the immediate release of prisoners, the right of return of people of Artsakh, and respect for the right to self-determination was emphasized. A year ago, Baku unleashed a military operation in Artsakh, forcing more than 100,000 civilians, including 30,000 children, into Armenia, causing an increase in humanitarian needs. Baku's military operations were preceded by a year-long blockade of the Berzor Road, which violated the decision of the International Court. Canada supports the conclusion of a comprehensive peace treaty between Eastern Armenia and Azerbaijan and calls for the unconditional release of all Armenian prisoners of war in Artsakh in 2020, as well as all ethnic Armenians detained in Baku. This should imply the safe and dignified right to return of Armenian civilians, guarantee the protection of human rights and civilian life houses, and the preservation of Armenian culture and historical sites in the area. This year's excavations at Pierre Ancient Site in Adiyaman city of Western Armenia have been completed. This year's work at the ancient site of Pierre, which is one of the five great si cities of the Komagen Kingdom, has been successfully completed and excavations will continue nex next year. During the excavations, various jewelry were found with Armenian patterns, chamber burials with Armenian inscriptions and architectural structures. The discovered architectural structures include various buildings, residential, religious and public spaces. These structures not only are evidence of the architectural harmony of the Armenian people, but also show the historical significance of the region as well as the social and cultural life of the priests living there. All these finds together create a unique insight about the living of people of that time, how they lived and created, and how rich their cultural heritage was. Dear viewers, this was all for today. I wish you a good day. Goodbye.